In this video, I'm going to be using my cabbing machine for the very first time, and we're going to be polishing a really beautiful Lake Superior agate on there. What you saw in the intro was me breaking in my Nova wheels with a really cool Montana agate. This guy right here, we used it to break in the four Nova wheels, and I didn't do anything specific with this, it was just to break in the wheels, and you can see in these flat spots there's a few scratches. Nothing I was even thinking about just using this stone to go across all the surfaces of these noble wheels to break them in to get us ready to polish our first agate on here, Lake Superior agate. This guy right here, it's really beautiful. It's got a lot of nice banding. It's got some whites, some blues, and some reds in there. So we're going to polish like this, the rounded face. It's going to be really fun. And so I can save some life on my first disc on my cabbing machine. I'm going to hop onto the flat lap do some shaping on here, and then we can hop on to the cabin machine. So we worked that pretty good, and got a really cool face going on here, really great bands. This spot right here had a bit of a divot, so we worked that down pretty good as well. So we are gonna hop right onto the wheels and start making this look a little nicer. So I gotta say one of the first lessons that I've learned with this cabbing machine is to mind the other wheels. I got bit pretty good during the uh, breaking in the noble wheels portion. <laughs> so definitely something I gotta learn, but let's hop on the 80 grid wheel and get started. So this is looking pretty good for a rounded face, but being that this is my first time using this Caber 6, I'm really learning as I'm going here. I know there's a lot of flat spots in the face, but because these pads right here are soft, I know as we get closer into these, it's going to really start working this and making it look nice, but we'll just keep going. And if we got to come back a step, that's no problem. This is our first time, a lot to learn. We just finished up with the 600 grit wheel and I am really impressed with how this is turning out so far. A lot of those flat spots that were created in the first couple of wheels are getting worked out with ease and we still have two more wheels to go and the last stage which is the cerium oxide disc so I'm really looking forward to see how this turns out. There's so many amazing bands on this. I'm just really excited to see it pop with that hopefully mirror finish 
And I also want to say quick too, I'm very happy to have teamed up with Kingsley North and I'm now an affiliate. So if you guys want to get a cabbing machine or any supplies that Kingsley North has, I'm going to have my affiliate link in the description box below. Go check them out. Very happy to have teamed up with them. Let's move on to the next wheel. So that's looking really good. We're going to move on to the final wheel, the pink 3000 grit. Put some water on. So we finished up with all the wheels and besides my very first bite I think I only got one other one right there so uh, hands are in pretty good shape but this is looking fantastic it's really really good so we're gonna pop this sidewall off here and turn on the water for this cerium oxide disc here all right we got the water going I've never used anything like this so it's gonna be like everything else brand new Spraying pretty good. Turn this down a bit. No. Well, gonna get wet. Interesting. That is not what I expected that would feel like. So we got this Lake Superior agate completely polished and again this is my first time and I'm extremely impressed. Let me see if I can move my light a little bit closer here. That is amazing. What a beautiful Lake Superior agate got some really cool details up in here I'm gonna throw my macro lens on and show you but wow quite a transformation from before all right I'll throw my macro lens on we'll take a close peek at some really cool details here they're right up here in these bands right there it's hard to get with all the light glare but I believe those are little, those little balls are hematite. You can see them all through the bands there. But that is pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. And even right here in the quartz in the middle, it almost looks like there's some hematite inclusions in there as well, if that's what it is. Really great bands all over this piece. So happy that we went with this one for our very first polish on our capping machine. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I had a blast polishing this with you today. Had a lot of fun with my brand new calving machine. And we'll be doing a lot more polishing on that in the future. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of those lapidary adventures. Thank you all for watching. Bye.